Hey class, I am here on a walk with my family and I have come across so many caterpillars. These caterpillars are all crossing the path trying to start their journey on becoming butterflies. So I'm gonna show you a couple of pictures and we're gonna start learning about caterpillars. I'm actually going to get some baby caterpillars so you can watch them grow all the way from tiny, tiny babies into beautiful butterflies. The life cycle of a butterfly starts when a butterfly lays an egg. That egg then hatches and turns into a larva. As it gets bigger, it's called a caterpillar. Lots of caterpillars have been crossing the road. They probably hatched on the other side of the hill and notice there are bigger trees that are better for attaching to. Lots of these caterpillars are nice and plump. That tells me that they are getting ready to start their process of becoming chrysalids. I have a joke for you. Why did the caterpillar cross the road? I don't know. I think he was just trying to become a butterfly. If you find a better answer to the joke, let me know. I've seen lots of caterpillars that have been squished on the road, so I'm gonna help this one cross and get to a safe place if he'll let me pick him up. I'm gonna help the caterpillar get to a safe spot on the tree so it doesn't get squished. Go, little caterpillar friend. Oh, you'll be okay. <laughs> this caterpillar is trying to get its way back up to the branch above it. Caterpillars spin a special silk to help them move around. It helps them to have grip and to make their cocoons when they're ready. So we have a couple caterpillars that are starting their process of becoming chrysalids. This one is hanging in the J shape. It hangs that way after it spins its silk on a branch or whatever it can hold on to. And then it hangs tight in a J as it wraps itself around with its silk to form the chrysalid. Once it's a chrysalis, that's where it turns into a butterfly. Lots of transformation takes place there. I found some beautiful wildflowers. Does anyone remember what those are called? They're our state flower, the California golden poppy. What do yes, you call five cats Maui. stacked on top of each Maui. other? What's this? Hey. Pillar of cats? A caterpillar. <laughs> A caterpillar, like a pillar of cats, but it's a caterpillar. Would be a <laughs> pillar of cats? No, it's a caterpillar. So this little guy has already made his cocoon. He's now called a chrysalid. And he attached to this metal post on this fence. So sometimes if they can't find a tree branch, they'll use something else. Do you notice the beautiful colors on this chrysalis? Whatever small colors the caterpillar has, the chrysalis will also show through, and those will be the colors that the butterfly has when it emerges from the chrysalis. When a caterpillar starts the process of becoming a chrysalid, it hangs upside down, so its head is actually at the bottom. The flat part that you see is where the wings are forming. The bumpy part on the other side is called the abdomen, and the part where it's attaching onto a tree is called the cremister that holds it nicely in place. Many caterpillars have already transformed from chrysalids into butterflies. These guys have emerged out of their cocoons and are enjoying nice lunch on the flower bushes. Butterflies get their energy from drinking nectar from flowers. That's why you often see so many butterflies crowding around bushes of flowers. Butterflies have a straw type feature of their mouth that helps them drink nectar from the beautiful flowers. This helps them slurp up all the goodness and get energy to fly on. This is called their proboscis. Thanks for joining me on my walk today. Make sure you're getting out and getting some exercise too and show me what you're finding on your walks. See you soon. Wanna do this hike as a family? I encourage you to take a field trip to the George Miller Trail in Martinez. It's open to the public now. Try to see if you can find all the butterflies in their stages of life.